Hey everybody, it's Armand here. Today's Friday, February 3rd, 2023. Hope you're having a great year so far. I always like the first week of a new month because it gives a chance not only to think, what am I gonna really try to get done, focus on, what's my intention? Is there a core theme for February, 2023? And that's a bit of a planning mentality as well as a reconciliation mentality. What, how was January? How did the year kick off? Had some goals, had some resolutions, um, maybe a new job, who knows, whatever's going on in your life. The beginning of a new year is obviously a big marker, but I find let's continue to also pay attention to each month in terms of both looking back, the reconciliation, and the planning going forward. Uh, sometimes I tend to use a lot of business terms, I guess being an entrepreneur for you know, a quarter uh, of a century here, 25 years, uh, gets me into that mode and thinking. So I think about like reconciling your finances, your books, uh, similar to reconciling your time, your period, whatever period we just came out of. And of course, we can just flow into the new month and just keep our day-to-day -day focus, but I find it to be a, a healthy process, doing it weekly, is a little bit harder to do because that's a lot of looking back and reflection. And if you have time for it, great to plan each week and to reflect back and kind of evaluate or almost give a grade to, to the week past. And of course, this all type of thinking that we're talking about now falls into the flow of our, our time bug app, which is now available. Uh, we'd love to get feedback from you all if you're able to use it. I was just sitting with one of my best old college friends today and worked with him on a little vision board and uh, for, for him and, and his life and the different things he's got in his focus bucket for, for February 2023. So again, welcome to February. Hope you're having a good year so far and uh, great question. What's on the plate? What's on your calendar for February 2023? Feel free to go over into the Time Bug app and uh, use the vision board there to track that. Uh, but today, the focus is going to be mainly on one of our other corners of the Golden Square, Basement Sports. The Basement Sports uh, app, which is in the market, both iOS and Android, as well as our physical products. They're, sometimes we call them toys, sometimes we call them sports equipment. It's really, it's really both of those things. And although we have our own physical you know, items that we, that we sell, both on our own website and Amazon, um, I love it when people already have, like most young sports families, kids already have their closet full of Nerf balls and bats and padding and goals and different things, contraptions. Uh, I recommend whatever it is you have. You know, we grew up using couch cushions for our soccer goals and hockey goals. So you just, we would roll up socks. My brother Sam was an expert at uh, rolling up long soccer socks and putting them in a ball as you kind of roll up both pairs and then wrapping it around and actually stitching it. And we had a really nice baseball and soccer ball and basketball through that. It was a little bit hard, so it could like, it could break things. So, you know, my mom wasn't a big fan of that. Um, so yeah, we provide different tools and equipment, but there's a lot of other options out there as well. And for cold days like this, I think this is the coldest day of the year so far, you know? really feels like it, at least here in the Northeast, um, here in Jersey City. And I was in New York City earlier for, for the breakfast with um, a friend of mine. And um, it's a really cold day. So as much as I'd love to be playing outside and going outside with my son Aiden when I pick him up from school in a little while, we're probably gonna end up inside, you know, at the basement sports HQ, where there's a full setup, full court basketball, full court hockey, soccer, and we're gonna be playing and I'm gonna be sharing some of that with you really with the concept in mind of really showcasing some of the cool features and modules available in the app. Um, again, it's really all about playing and actually playing in a live space, getting a sweat, playing and you know, engaging in sports, but what the app does is it's, that's why we call it mixed reality sports or mixed reality gaming. You're using the app to just enhance your experience with background crowd noise, the sound effects, the scorekeeping aspect, 
picking your teams and players. Those are un, all fun little ways to kind of gamify and create a little bit of excitement around the experience. When I grew up, you know, in the 80s, we didn't have apps and smartphones, so we just, I used paper and pen. We'd get a pad and we'd write down the teams, the scores, and I kind of gamified it that way for me and my friends, and then we'd have those records going forward. So that was part of the inspiration for Basement Sports app, to kind of create that um, more of a modern version of what we did growing up back in the 80s. So we'll get to that, uh, and I'll just kind of list out some goals off the top of my head here. I'm gonna have Aiden, we're gonna probably do a little one-on-one, -on -one, maybe basketball, soccer, hockey, uh, keeping score, picking players. Um, we have a rookie pro all-star kind of evolution path. You know, and to be an all-star at the highest level, you have to have one of the special in-game avatars. We only have that available for soccer right now. So I do want to showcase that so we can see how cool it is to be an all-star because you get different sound effects. You get to pick one of the World Cup team countries like Argentina or Brazil. Uh, each of these avatars is actually a unique NFT. It's actually backed by a unique NFT. So it actually has value, resale value. If you own that or play with that, that's something you can go on to OpenSea.io and sell it once you're done playing with it or you don't use the application anymore. So it's a really cool concept of in-app upgrades and purchases, which every gamer understands and, and participates in uh, to some degree. And we've brought that in to the basement sports experience, again, to enhance the, the ambiance um, and the excitement when you're playing. And we have it just for soccer right now, but we'll be adding other all-star experiences and opportunities for the other sports in the months to come. The second thing I really want to showcase, it's a very exciting um, feature to have in an application like this and really turns it into a social network, like a video sharing platform. Um, and it's our streaming, what we're calling our set of streaming features. So we'll be showing that while you play, it could be just any two people, a father and a son, like it's gonna be today, or the eight kids we have coming to our uh, Wednesday aftercare sports camp. Um, we had some good highlights and a really good 2v2 soccer tournament or not a tournament, it was a single game, and it was like a 4-3, very intense game, very exciting. We had the kids playing. I hit one button while I was refereeing and filming and scorekeeping, all from my Basement Sports app, and I was able to hit one button to actually then record that game while I'm streaming it, hit another button to share the streaming link with all the parents through a quick WhatsApp group, so it's a quick copy-paste, into the group, and then you can actually see that the team, Anis and, and Kayaz and the dev team just added the little icon where you could see how many people are actually watching the stream while you do it. So, you know, you don't need five million people watching your stream, it could just be five, but those could be your best friends, family members, grandparents who are off in another country or city that just wanna see on a cold winter day here in Jersey City or wherever you are, that uh, you know, their grandkids or friends are, are having a good time after school, playing with their friends, playing with their dad. So uh, it's gonna be fun. It's always fun after school when Aiden comes home and we comes into the office, into the lab here. Um, it's kind of cool, I guess, for him to be the son of, a, of an entrepreneur and a, a group of startup uh, executives or, or, or team members, right? Um, to kind of like live in this think tank world and actually be a live part of our experience because we need feedback. And you know, the opinions of, of him and other, his seven-year-old, eight-year-old friends is a big part of what goes into the products we create. Um, how big are the buttons on the screen? Is it easy to navigate? It's really very important to put the apps in their hands. They're, they're much more digital natives than we are. Again, like, as I said, we didn't grow up with this stuff. Um, we grew up with you know, more consoles in the beginning of the video game era. This is, um, it's another time right now. It's another time, and while 
a big part of our Golden Square ethos is to really, I don't even want to use the word limit, but to really manage and be mindful about the way we all engage with technology, especially young people. It can be so immersive and so easy for them to get sucked in and down rabbit holes um, and really spend a lot of time. I don't even want to say waste time, but yeah, it could be questionable how much time they spend if it's not monitored or not engaged in a mindful way. And that's really the responsibility of, of a parent as I see it, um, which is why we've built a lot of the tools we have with KidCoin and permissioning between adults and children. In Basement Sports, we're working on a similar module where the adults, the administrators can kind of manage what and how much access the kids have. Uh, now the good news about kids being on the Basement Sports app is that if you're on the app, you're actually not playing a game on the phone. You're, you're setting up a game that you're going to play in a real physical space. So that means if you're using the Basement Sports app, you're actually getting some physical activity, which is a plus. Um, of course, that needs to be managed as well because, again, if it's my son and most kids, they'll want to play for six, seven hours and skip their homework or not do other things or reading. So, again, everything in life, like anything in life, it's about balance. It's about finding the right balance, creating a healthy balance, and, you know, just being a bit fluid in that. It's not always going to be perfect, right, in that balance. Some days kind of swing to one side of the pendulum or the other. But in the big scheme of things, throughout the course of, again, a month, as we started off talking about January, was your month balanced? How did you feel about it? Did you get to the gym? Or oh, did you neglect that? Maybe you didn't cook as much, you ate out too much, right? So this concept doesn't just apply to kids and how we, we raise them and try to set them up in a good way. The main thing we can do for our children or any children, you know, I'm also a coach, so I've got kids that I, I'm mentoring that aren't my children, but you have to be the example, right? Um, what do they say? You do what, as you see, not what, you, not what they hear, right? They're going to follow by the example that, um, that you set. And so, again, uh, we're going to get to the demos now, but how was your January? Try to maybe take a minute to just kind of sum it up, even if it's a couple sentences, a couple of punch, punch bullet points, any key defining moments or major life events, and if not, okay, general routine, good start. How is your energy levels? Do that check-in, physical, mental, emotional, kind of overall. You know, I like to follow as we do in the time bug app, but like a one to 10 scale, 10 being like <laughs> a godlike, you know, pristine, serendipitous, amazing feeling, which is very rare. You know, usually for myself, I try to find myself at like in the seven, seven to eight level. Eight's a really good solid day. Nine is just like, everything's clicking and 10 is just a very rare time and again it's all subjective at this level you have to be honest with yourself and kind of where you're at on on those three scales physical mental emotional um, you could use the time bug app for that or you can use a simple notepad spreadsheet the way i did for many years and still do um, and also you know what's on the agenda then for february what's kind of in your in your queue any major goals, new patterns, or just kind of general key dates in the calendar coming up. It is a short month, the shortest month of the year, um, and hopefully the last cold month you know, here in the Northeast. Um, so let's get to these demos and then come back to the other side and see where we end up. See you soon. All right, guys, here we are again, February 3rd, Friday, this is my son, Aiden. And um, we're here on the Basement Sports app. Now, what is this? What should we do here, right? It's play as a rookie, go pro, or be an all-star. Which level do you think you are? All-star? If you're an all-star, and let's log in, that means we have one of those special soccer avatars, which we call uh, NFTs, remember? And now what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate some of the coolest new features of the app. We're going to do that video feature. Okay. Now here we are. We've got our KidCoin integration. 
Do we like our kid coin balance? We can do buy a lot of um, NFTs. I have, the... I have 18,606. You have or I have? I have, I have, I have All right, well, now, well, now let's show, let's show what we can do with it. We can come to this little NFT section and let's see, should we buy a couple? Five Argentina, okay, any <laughs> others? Pick one more country, okay. Now hit mint and you wanna buy, pay with kid coin, right? Wow, it's going to cost a thousand kid coin. You sure you want to do that? One hundred and five dollars. All right. So let's see. Our NFTs have been added to the account. Let's see those. Now let's see my NFTs. Oh, look at all those new Argentina players. Yeah, you always up going. Look how much we have. We got a lot of them. Okay, so now here's what we're going to do. The cool thing is you can equip any player. Now this is the player that's Armand. Let me. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch mine to a different one. Footbot. Footbot. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be this guy now. Okay. So now let's see. Aiden. Here's Aiden. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Okay. Now. So go ahead. Which one you wanna be? Uno. All right. So you're gonna be that guy. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to play. We're gonna play a game against each other. We're gonna play a game here. And we're going to do, oh, Aiden's the Bulldogs, Armand's the Bears. All right, we're going to Bears against Bulldogs. And we're going to just do a quick game just to demonstrate this very key functionality. And imagine kids, adults, anyone at homes, in gyms, little play centers, um, school, school gyms, which are mostly empty at night on cold days like today, right? So here we are, right? It's going to be Argentina against Argentina. Let's see how the music sounds, okay? Okay, now let's pick from the sport we have as one of these um, unique features. Argentina, but we're both Argentina. Okay, so the game started. Now, when the game starts, with this little button up top, you could see my scroller. I could come here and do live stream. I could come up with a name. I'm going to call this the Argentina Cup. Argentina Cup. Get started. We could do a selfie stream or we could stream the field. We're going to stream the field here. And now we're going to do a little quick demo. And while we stream, there's two cool things we can do. There's our cameraman right back at you. It's Micah, otherwise known as the Elmhurst Bears. Um, so what we're going to do here, this game's already started, let me pause that. We can also share the link, share the stream link to other people. I'll share it to our little Slack channel. That means anyone who now clicks that link could participate and watch that game. I can press this button in the bottom left and I can record this actual game being played. Okay, and you can see there's already two viewers on the channel. Alright, let's go, your ball first. Angry player here. See if he can control the ball. One minute remaining. Come on, play. It's hard to film and play at the same time, but it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. seconds and this is streaming out and we got one. Oh, could be the first goal uh oh there's a chance nine eight seven six five four three Two, one, winner! And when you're done with the video, as you can see, you can take a little caption. I can call it first half and save that. Stop the audio there. And then later, after the game or during the game, we should be able to go into our bases, into our different teams. And um, let's see if I can check team and check highlights then there would be a video.
of that game. This really first half of this game is right there being shown and I could actually watch it. I could share it out with friends, with family, on social media. This becomes its own sports gaming video network, video social network. Had a good time showcasing that, playing with this little guy. And um, hardest thing to coach is your own kids, but still good rewarding experience. All right, have a great day, everyone. <laughs>